Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's video in which I make a quick and easy, clean and simple birthday card. So to start off, I've got a card blank here. I'm not creating any panels, I'm just working straight on the card blank. It's four by six inches smooth white cardstock. I've popped it on my grip mat and laid a stencil over the top. I'm going to blend through the stencil but not over the whole card. I want to create a strip of stenciling down the left hand side. So I'm masking off my strip with some spare washi tape and I'm using Distress Oxides to create an ombre down my card. I start at the bottom with Scattered Straw, which is a pastel yellow. Then we're going to Dried Marigold and at the top I'm using Worn Lipstick. So this gives me a lovely warm ombre on the left hand side of my card. I also blended the same colours on another piece of smooth white cardstock and I'm going to die cut from this. I have a little frame die but I'm not after the frame, I'm after the butterflies that it cuts out as well. But before I did the die cutting I stuck my bit of card down onto some double sided sticky foam and then I ran that through my die cutting machine a couple of times to cut as many butterflies out as possible. So what I end up with is a big pile of sticky dimensional butterflies. To stop my butterflies sticking to my glass mat I poked them out of the die and left them on a bit of the release paper from the craft foam and then I stuck my butterflies on my card. I arranged them in a tone on tone fashion fluttering up the card with some sticking out the sides of the panel. So I've got the yellow ones on the yellow bit, the orange ones on the orange bit and the pinky ones on the pinky bit and any that have got a bit of a blend on I put on the appropriate blendy bit. This is quite a busy strip of colour once I get all the butterflies on. If you wanted to create something like this but didn't want it to look quite as busy you could blend your inks through a stencil that has larger holes in it to create larger coloured areas. If you stick around to the end of the video I've added some photographs of a similar card that I made. The main difference is the butterflies aren't popped up on foam they're just stuck straight onto the card and also the stenciling is in large areas and it does look a little less busy. So I think the longest part of making this card was sticking all these butterflies down in a pleasing arrangement. So once all my butterflies were where I wanted them, I die cut a twiggy leafy piece from rose gold metallic cardstock and I also cut it from vellum and then I layered these two pieces so that the vellum is peeking out from behind the gold cardstock. I used tacky glue to stick them together and to then stick the whole thing onto my card. I placed this in the middle of my strip. I did have to remove a couple of the butterflies so that I could get my leafy thing to stick down properly. And then I replaced the butterflies and brought in a few more where I felt they were needed to fill out the pattern. For my sentiment I chose a pre-printed happy birthday in a scripty font. I added some of the worn lipstick onto another piece of card and then glued my happy birthday onto that and used my guillotine to trim it out so that it had a little worn lipstick coloured border around it. To add my sentiment I popped a bit of the craft foam on the back of it and then added a little bit of glue as well and stuck it across the bottom so that a little bit of the branch was poking out from beneath it. 
Once the sentiment was down, I again grabbed some of the leftover butterflies and added these. Some of them needed a bit of glue. I think my craft foam is a bit old and some parts of it aren't as sticky as others. So all I did was dip those butterflies in a bit of glue and added them where I felt they were needed. And as a finishing touch, I added glossy accents to just a few of the butterflies. This was just to add a bit of shine, but also to create a little bit of variation. So not all the butterflies were looking the same. Some were matte, some were shiny. And that's it. That's this card done. I do hope you like it. Hang around for a few seconds more and you'll see the other card I made like this, which was a lot flatter. There was no dimension on it and the stenciling was a bit less busy. Right, thanks for joining me today. I do hope to see you back here very soon. Take care. Bye for now.